it's uh, been a while, and believe me, I needed the time, but let's do this. Let's look at some more cheap Mexican bootleg turtles. <laughs> Well, only if you haven't seen any of the other Mexican bootleg episodes of Bootleg Zones can I see you being surprised about our lovely baggy style packaging for the turtles here. This one with plastic so nice, yeah, it's falling apart. These guys are called Tos Heroes on Action Tortugas Guerreras, which is a little familiar to me. The other time I did a Mexican bootleg line called this, it was those really waxy figures which all had the wacky action Raphael heads. And it also featured Krang with random colored bubble walkers. Now, I don't know for certain, but I'm gonna venture a guess that these weren't made by those same bootleggers because, well, one, none of these guys have wacky action Raphael's head. And two, the artwork on the pack package of these Heroes in Action Turtles Warriors looks to have been lifted from the original ones I looked at. You can see there's a very clear quality downgrade on the artwork for the package for these guys versus the really waxy ones. And things like that floating pizza on the original artwork are just two solid colors now. But hey, at least they gave me a shitload of weapons to compensate, I suppose. The belts on these pieces of shit are at least very rubbery as well and will fold back into place like they should. And unlike the other Toast Heroes on Action Tortugas Guerreros, they haven't somehow inverted how the belt buckle works. That said, these belts are complete pieces of trash for one simple reason. Plastic runoff! There was absolutely no fucks given with these. Oh, and would you like to actually be able to store any of the shit pile of weapons they gave you in their belts? Well, too fucking bad. Who would ever want to put weapons in the weapons holders? That's not what they're for. They're just for holding the giant plastic runoff. And if you like plastic seams sticking out, don't worry, you get that on the turtles as well. There's just so much mold degradation and shit like this, you can tell that these bootleggers just did not care at all. And Donatello comes with nodding action, because his head's so loose. Awesome! And if you want little paint chips falling off your stupid turtles while you try to look at them, well these are the figures for you. I am kind of amazed though that the turtles actually all come with their correct belts with the release of this particular quality. Now if you want the turtles to actually hold any of their weapons, well you better hope that the plastic around their hands is brutal enough to break apart like it did on Michelangelo here. Now that worked for his left hand, but his right hand here is just a giant glob of plastic, so doesn't seem like I'm gonna have any luck sticking any weapon in there. Oh, a bow staff will go in. Perfect. Since these guys do all have the same sloppy body mold, that does pretty much mean that it's going to be easier to get any weapon into their left hands versus their right ones. Well, I might have spoken too soon here in the case of Sloppy Raphael, as I was able to get a sigh in his right hand instead of his stupid left one. Now, the only purposeful difference with the mold on any of these guys is the heads and one of the legs. Donatello and Michelangelo both use Raphael's head because why would Raphael use Raphael's head? And Raphael and Leonardo use Donatello's. Again, they made sure not to include one of the turtles who actually used that head sculpt. And with the feet, Michelangelo and Raphael both have the two flat ones, and Leonardo and Donatello have that curved up right heel. Also, Raphael has to wear his belt like a complete slob because, well, it'll fucking fall off if he doesn't. But oh well, at least they look really good without the belt with that completely yellow chest of theirs. Looks even better on the shell. Wow, glad they didn't go through the effort of painting that. No, seriously, I am glad they didn't go through the effort of painting it considering how good their paint stays on these things. 
I do rather like, despite the laziness with this set, they went to the extra effort of including Splinter's bow with the weapons. Man, I can't believe this line was such crap. I really expected better out of a bootleg line that was so lazy they had to steal another bootleg line's name and package. Was there any quality to be found on these? Well, I suppose there's the fact they didn't disintegrate in my hands completely, just partially. They've simplified the articulation on the turtles' figures to just being peg joints on the legs as well as the arms. Also, the heads still move, though a bit more than they should since they're so loose. The chest piece is an overly bright yellow hollow shell, which you can see was just sloppily glued together. The plastic runoff is just out of control on the belts, and it's pretty bad on the turtles as well. Really, the only sort of impressive part about these stupid things wasn't the damn turtles, but the giant assortment of bootlegged weapons. These are actually pretty decent reproductions, just cast in black instead of brown. But Actually getting the stupid figures they came with to hold them might take a little work. These are kind of par for the chorus for Mexican bootleg turtles, but I suppose at least they gave them the right belts and the right colors, so they can at least have one. These are straight up bootlegs, which couldn't even be bothered to bootleg all the actual turtles figures or come up with another bootleg name for their lame turtles. Zero. You know what's weird? That I even paid money for these stupid piles of cowabunga shit. One. Baggy style packaging is pretty low on the scale as it is, and here we have a bootleg of a stupid knockoff baggy. That is pretty Pretty damn sad. You had to copy another bootleg's cardboard flap, and even though you at least redid the text on it, you couldn't even be bothered to change that text. <laughs> Wow. Just wow. Plus, of course, the stupid plastic cracked and the turtles fell out of it. Zero. What do you think? Zero. And the bootleg zones overall is one! These are complete trash and feel grimy to even hold. They barely want to stand up, plus they shed all over the place. The only reason to pick these up would be if you wanted some cheap replacement weapons for the real figures. Just make sure to throw these bootleg turtles away before they infect you with paint chip flu virus. <laughs> Robotic fighters, it's time for us to finally do something again. Well, gee, I could have forgot we ever existed, Bump Screen. Um, well, yes, it's not easy being so lazy, so I don't want to do anything too tough on our first day back into existence, so let's go pick on those pitiful Mexican. Tortuga whatevers. Oh, come on, a bunga hump scream. We're not in any shape to be alive. Um, well, yes, that, that does seem to be true, considering you've all fallen over your giant weapons pile during the scene change here. It seems they weren't expected. Shut up. I, Humpscream, am now the leader of the two heroes on Axia Tortugas Guerreros! Uh, do you really want that title, Humpscream? No.